Hi, my name is Celine Erasmus. I'm a registered dietitian, a professional speaker, and a corporate wellness consultant. I'm author of Fast Food for Sustained Energy and a regular media columnist. I often get asked by people, well, what about pasta? So should we be passing on the pasta or should we be asking, please, can I have more pasta? Now, pasta is so convenient. It's quick and easy and versatile. And I'm sure I'm not the only one who's got home late after work one night and just thought, let me just throw in a pot of pasta and 10 minutes later, whoa, I've got a meal. I'm almost sure that there's a lot of bachelors that would have starved had they not had access to pasta. So what are some pros? Well, we've seen it's quick and easy, versatile, convenient. It's virtually flock proof. Pasta is also very low in fat on its own. It's what we add to the pasta that's often the problem. Pasta is also quite inexpensive. So almost any pantry or any kitchen can afford to have it. There's also such a huge range of pastas from vermicelli to bows and pasta sheets and spaghetti and fettuccine, one of my favorites. Now what about the cons of pasta? Well, pasta is incredibly Moorish, so it's often hard to stop at the correct portion size. And in a moment we'll chat about what the correct portion size is. Pasta also tends to be made from quite refined flowers, which makes it fast releasing or high GI. There are some pastas, like pasta made from durum wheat, that tend to be slower releasing or lower GI, which means that they're better for your blood sugar levels and they're not going to push them as high as fast. But now let's talk about the portion sizes for pasta. One cup of pasta, which is about a large fistful, provides 700 kilojoules, very little fat, and about 30 grams of carbohydrate. So that on its own is perfectly fine, but we don't have one cup or one large fistful of pasta at a time, and we certainly don't have it on its own. We often enjoy a pasta that's a huge bowl, maybe the equivalent of four or five, even six of my fistfuls, with a lovely delicious sauce and meats. And the problem with that is when we're eating out in restaurants, when we're presented with a large pasta, we're more likely to eat the whole thing. So ideally, a portion size of pasta is about a fistful. If you're a lady, it means it'll be a smaller fistful. If you're a guy and you're lucky, well, you have a bigger fist. So if you're eating out with pasta, is to probably get into the habit of sharing the pasta or asking the waiter to plate only half the pasta and take the other half home. And choose your sauce wi wisely. One regular pasta alfredo, for instance, with a couple of um, tablespoons of Parmesan cheese on top can provide 4,500 kilojoules. That's over a thousand calories and a whole lot of fat, almost the amount of fat that you need in a day, about 50 grams of fat. So we can see it's a really good idea to make smarter choices if you're eating out often and choosing pasta because it's one of your favorite foods. If you had a pasta that was half that portion, so say two fistfuls, because we know in a restaurant it's often impractical to only have one fistful of pasta. So allow yourself two fistfuls, then have a tomato-based sauce, like a marinara or a chili sauce or napolitana, and only add one or two tablespoons of parmesan cheese, and then you would half the kilojoule content and more than half the fat content, and that would be a much healthier meal. What often happens when we eat pasta is that the dish becomes devoid of vegetables. So to try and add a salad on the side or to add a portion of roasted vegetables would be a really good idea because that would help make the meal a balanced one. When you're making pasta at home, keep in mind that it's really easy to stock up your pantry with a whole lot of delicious pasta sauces that are low fat. Look at the label when you're reading a pasta sauce and ideally aim for one that has, if you look at the fat grams, and you look at the per 100 grams, go for pasta sauces that have five grams of fat or less, then you know that it's a low fat sauce. And be sure to always add a salad and lots of veggies on the side to make it a balanced meal. And when you're eating out, can you have pasta? Sure, just don't have pasta plenty, you know? Make sure that you manage the portion sizes by sharing the pasta, maybe having a side salad or taking half home so that you can enjoy it at your next meal. I have a free video series that shares many, many more tips and advice that can help you to boost your energy levels, also boost and improve your health, and help you to lose weight. Please visit my website at www.wellculator.com, and I look forward to seeing you on the other side.